Hello, this is Lavender Lightworker. Welcome to my channel. I pulled some cards and oracle cards today, and I wanted to send a collective message. So first of all, this was what shocked me the most, is that the tower came out three times, and I was like, at first concerned, but then I realized this tower moment could be a beautiful, shocking moment, like winning the lottery, or depending on where your head is at, it could be shocking, shocking news. Um, either way, I mean, it'd be shocking if you did win the lottery, great fortune, get a gift. But the, then I saw these come out, and I was like, okay, yeah. So three towers and three three swords, and I'm telling you now, I don't see this as a negative energy. What I'm seeing is that. The collective needs to be really concentrated right now and not be stuck in their head. If if you guys are get out of your head and into your heart and concentrate on, you know, peace and put your pride to the side, you know, work on energy healing that you literally can literally win the lottery, have great fortune. Um whatever you've put out will come back now. Um, you're not going to have to hold on to your money. You, you could have a lot of money coming in to the point where you do need to be mindful of where you put your time and energy. Like you, you have so much money coming in, you could literally be building a new home or construction of a, a business. So we have this great fortune. So the tower is not a bad thing. Now, it can be bad for some of you. If you are negative and it's your bad karma and you deserve it. But for the people that are light workers and good heart or learning their lessons who are closing out cycles, sometimes good people don't close out cycles and then that one bad apple spoils the rest. So if you're even if you're a good person, if you're not closing out cycle and you're allowing bad people around you, then you're you're gonna get their karma, their bad karma. So my advice is to stay away from these people. If you know that being around them, you get bad luck, then don't be around them because then you're going to have their pain, okay? Or you could also heal and just move on to yourself and get your great fortune because you already had your pain. Your pain is over. So why are you still hanging around with people who haven't closed cycles, who keep coming back around and every time they come around, it's the same old shit. So you're going to get shocking news. But it depends on where your mind is at. Like I said, where you're concentrating. A lot of you need to spend time in nature. And then also living in the moment. You're going to get messages. If, you stay, if you're hanging around people that have cheated, deception, mind games, love bombed you. And you're still around them. And you haven't closed that cycle out. You know, people who keep keep secrets. These people are receiving bad karma. They have drama, endings, loss, mental breakdown. This is not going to... They're going to be around you having this horrible situation. And you can either choose to ha live in your great fortune and receive the gifts. Or you can be concerned about some main male and their problems. You need to decide... And hold back your energy and decide, where am I going to put my energy? Am I going to put it into these people that ruined your life? Or, or every time you're around them, you have bad luck? Or are you going to put it into yourself and watch the life cycles move in your, in your favor? I mean, look at her. She's wearing a fortune. Everything that you gave back will come come back to you tenfold. Put your pride, your peace. Um, we have insight here. Um, it's like basically strategically looking at ways to um, control your thoughts. You need, you need to decide to be happy now. There's a lot of messages that are going to come in. Some of you are going to have to ignore these messages in order to gain the benefits of these tower moments because there are beautiful tower moments. They do not have to be bad. Like I've seen the tower card and then casino people win. 
So this doesn't have to be bad. So it's your decision. It's wherever you are in your life right now. If you've moved past all the trauma and you're ready to move forward and you're focusing on yourself and you're not allowing people to come in and cause this type of pain in your life and you're closing cycles, then you will receive great fortune. You, you will get gifts. You, you, you will um, spin this wheel and just all kind of luck will come to you. And I want to emphasize on those of you who are really good people and you don't know how to cut people off, this is the last time for you to learn this lesson. You have to close this cycle out. I don't care if it's your child, if it's your ex, if it's your friend, if it's a coworker, I don't care who it is. They have to go. You have to protect your energy. And if you don't, if you decide to sacrifice your own your own time, money and energy for someone that you feel like you're not supposed to let go of because they're ruining your life, backstabbing or they're getting bad karma, then unfortunately you will actually have to live in the same energy there and the frequency they're in and have all of this heartbreak. So you have to decide.